to the year 2015. You see, we are a revolutionary bunch. We were actually the first group of Year 7s to ever attend Kelmscott Senior High School. Teachers, you have sat through years of graduations, but our graduation is now by far the most superior. Because in the past, they were all celebrating finishing the fifth year of school, the wusses. We have survived tooth and nail for six years at the school. That means that we've survived six years of tests, assignments, more tests, more assignments, education perfect, waking up at 6am and going six hours a day without our phones. That means teachers, you've survived six years of making us do tests, assignments, more tests, more assignments, education perfect, waking up at 6am 6 6 and making us go six hours a day without our phone. And that means parents and guardians, you've survived six years of us complaining about the fact that teachers have made us do tests, assignments, more tests, more assignments, education perfect, waking up at 6am and going six hours without our phones. We want to actually talk about you parents and guardians for a second. It's easy for us to all take you for granted because you're always there. But that's exactly why we want to thank you. Thank you for being there through all the tests, assignments. We get it. <laughs> we really could not have done it without you all. We would give you all each a personal box of chocolates, but we didn't have the budget for that. But you know what our school did have the budget for? An end of year reward excursion for us year sevens to watch Hotel Transylvania. Two. <laughs> At least the bus trip was fun. Speaking of fun, we had the dinner dance and river cruise. We somehow managed an entire evening on a boat without anyone falling off the side. We also created the longest conga line to ever occur on a boat. And somehow, at both the dinner dance and river cruise, we almost had the entire grade during the nut bush. Synchronously. synchronously. We have survived through Miss Thomas rapping, Mr. Graham trying to kill a crow. Don't worry, he missed. And finally, Mr. Mellor literally faking a heart attack in our lessons. <laughs> Remember how happy we were to have this pristine block one made especially for us and then given to the upper school students six months later? Well, guess what? We got it back eventually, so... <laughs> some of us got to travel overseas or across the country, and some of us almost didn't make it back, Jack Dowling. <laughs> and some of you never got to go on any trips, despite doing the same workload, <coughs> kept kids. <laughs> Remember how many clan carnivals we attended? Yeah, that was great for the few of us who were actually good at sports. But, you know, it was a real eye-opening experience. We all got so close. Physically, it was gross. The face was so tiny. <laughs> and how did we end this grand experience? Walking down the aisle at assembly to High School Musical. We're all in this <laughs> together. No regrets. <laughs> so, where are we now? Graduation. And don't you all look fine tonight? In fact, some of you look so fine in comparison to your Year 7 photos. <laughs> Can we talk about globs for a sec? Because we've had many in this grade. Brendan Shalotti. Sorry, I had to. Daya Tarima. Thea Sinclair. Lily Walker. You're looking good now. And some of you look exactly the same. <coughs> Taylor Belima. <laughs> some of us just got done with exams, and others are enjoying their six weeks of freedom. Some of you are likely exhausted after a week of partying at Levers, and some of us are well-rested. Boring. Mm. Well rested. It has been said many times, but what a year. I don't know who thought a Pandora's box part two was a good idea, but we may do. We talked about survival before. We su forgot to mention we survived a literal pandemic. I mean, not that it was that hard for us. Western Australia actually had a 96% recovery rate and we were only in lockdown for a couple weeks, but I mean, no other year had to deal with a mediocre lockdown. However, probably our most amazing feat came with surviving the biggest peril one can ever face. Year 12. I know I speak for most of us when I say standing here now in my room seems quite surreal after the year I've had. There were so many times where I didn't think I would make it through the next week, let alone the whole year. You know, having been a music student, I have been to every single graduation since I got here. Every year I saw the graduating class at the Perth Exhibition Centre walk across the stage and get given their certificate. Every year watching the awards being handed out and speeches being presented. It's so gratifying to finally get my own. Well, this is my first one. But it feels great, because... After all we've done, after years of highs and lows, stresses and triumphs, we've graduated. We get to move on. We got our little scroll thing from the principal and had our gross year 7 photo see, so we've officially made it. <laughs> so, what's next? It's weird to think that after seeing this school, we're on our own now. Well, not really. Well, no one told you life was going to be this way. Yeah, many of us have friends that will last a lifetime. And 
let's be real, some of you will never speak again. Nobody knows what the future holds for us, where we will be or who we will turn out to be. Who knows? Maybe the next address we hear will be Sarah Mould's Prime Ministerial Acceptance Speech. Maybe we'll be watching Callum Wormsley or Amelia Raimundo, rich, fit and famous at the Olympics or otherwise. Maybe we will watch Kayla White on that re reality TV show. Or maybe we'll have our kids being taught by Mr. Sal- I mean, Ryan Woods. <laughs> or maybe none of that will happen. We have no idea what will be. And that's the beauty of it, isn't it? We've been here for six years, which is only a little amount of time in the whole grand scheme of things. And we've all changed so much. Some of us for the better, and some of us... Turned out magnificently, thank you very much. <laughs> Class of 2020, we are sure you'll be successful in all your future endeavours. It has been a pleasure to grow up with you all. You are all honestly amazing people, and I couldn't thank you enough for enriching my high school experience. So to avoid being any more cheesy than we have to be, we're going to wrap it up. Farewell, Camscott Senior High School. Try not to miss us too much. Guess what? What? That was the last thing we had to do. What? No more school responsibilities. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Monique and Zach. Just to let you know, on my sheet here it says, your excellent speech well reflected your positive leadership styles. And yeah, yeah. Very nicely done, but not what's written there. Please welcome back Mr. Trevlin Gilles, the principal of Kelmscott Senior High School, to give his principal address. Yes, let's wait for it. Let's see what he says about you lot this year. Uh, look, uh, it's always very difficult to actually follow the head boy, head girl speech, and this year is, is an exception, and uh, because of an outstanding, outstanding presentation by Zach and, and Monique. Could you put your hands together, please? <laughs> There is no way I'm going to top that unless um, if someone has a guitar handy and I'll try my best with Van 